Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the Liko Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. I am whispering a little bit today because I am staying at a friend's place in uh, in uh, DC area. I'm doing, well, the marathon is in two days or less than two days, technically. So, uh, yeah, apologies for the sound. You know, you could turn it up a little bit or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this problem as quickly as I can and then get some rest and yeah, call it a night. And yeah, yeah, heartbreaking. The Yankees just lost, by the way, so I'm also very sad, but sports, that's how it goes. All right, let's take a look at today's problem, 2458. Height of binary tree after subtree removal occurs. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Like I said, keeping the... Sound a little bit low, so okay. Your M curve independent curves okay. So then you have this, hmm. That's interesting. So you have a lot of nodes, you have a binary tree, which maybe is interesting or maybe not. Um. And we want to say basically the size of the tree that isn't that tree. Or the height of the tree, not the size of the tree. Hmm. It is a hard problem, which is unfortunate for me trying to do it quickly. But um, let's see. And all the values are unique, I suppose. Yep. It changes nothing. Hmm. Mm, I think the first thing that I would try to do is just try to figure out how to Okay, I mean, like, you know, if we do it the way that they d describe the problem, it's going to be very hard, right? So I'm trying to figure out how to do it in a way such that maybe we can rephrase it into an easier problem that I can figure out how to do either one way or the other. Um, for example, can I pre-calculate, say, the, for here, when I remove four, can I pre-calculate the height of the, like, okay, so the parent of four right mm, what I want to say is that what I want to say is that so for example looking at this one right the parent of four we know that what's on the left subtree so, um, and this is one of those problems that I wish I was at home so I could draw it out a little bit more, but it is what it is. Um, but basically here, when, when I see this, I go, okay, the parent of four is one. And what is the other, the size of the other one, right? And I think that's one way to think about it. Of course, your parent, in this case, the parent is the root node. So that's not always gonna be the case. Uh, for example, let's say you remove five, the parent is four, but that doesn't change the answer because you have you know one going forward, right? So I think the first thing I want to do is just pre-calculate um yeah everything, right? And then just do it twice on both sides, and I think that should be good. Right? For example, or and then we could kind of carry it down as well. Um, if that makes any sense because then now what we want in a way if we really look at this example and we are trying to remove say five as an ex example then now f what that means is that the new tree yeah one two three four six the new tree it is going to be the max of of um the subtree that starts at four or the subtree that starts at one, or so forth going forward, right? Maybe this is another example. For example, here in example two, 
we let's say we remove two, right? If we remove two, or yeah, then now the answer is going to be the other side of eight going down. We know where the eight is, right? So going down, or five all the way going down and so forth recursively going up right and therefore if you carry the, it down almost like a, in a prefix some kind of way then you should be able to figure it out um i think that's enough for me to kind of give an, an attempt so let's try it um first i'm gonna just cash out um store out for each node what is the maximum height from this node right And we can also even just cache this, right? So get okay. no. Something like this, right? And we can for now, I'm going to be lazy, right? And I'm just going to just use cash. I'm not going to explain this today, so I, my apologies. Like I said, it's late, late. I don't want to wake up my host. They're very generous for letting me over. So I'm not going to try to wake them, especially since I think they're, they're, they're going on a long, long bike ride in the morning. So, okay, right? Uh, my, again, my apologies if this is too low, but I'm trying a little bit, so we'll see. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to memorize it, and what that does is that for each input, we are going to do all of one, right? That's the way go. So then now we can um, calculate now. This is a little fuzzy, and it, and it and the explanation, as I talk about it now, may be a little bit fuzzy. The reason being that I don't know quite know what I want yet. I have some idea about but what you're seeing now is me trying to solve it on the spot, so it's not like... So if the explanation is a little bit sketchy, it's because by now, my brain process is a little sketchy, right? So, okay. Let's just go ahead and calculate, right? So we have a node. Um, what I want is... Um, something like max other side. And this is basically the... I'll, I'll comment it, right? So node is just the node. Max other is... Is the max is the max height coming from the parents, the other branch of the parent, and it'll it'll, uh, it'll look a little bit it'll be more reasonable when I finish it. Hopefully, yeah. Or like when you see the code, I think maybe there's another parameter, but right now I think maybe this is okay. Right? Maybe. We'll see. Right? So if node is none, then I don't know. Just return. And here, what I want to. And maybe we'll just have a look up, right? For the answer. And then now here, okay, so let's. The way that I like to think about or try to figure it out, and I am figuring it out right now, is that, okay, let's start at the root node first. What is the root node? So, okay. Right, so we have the height of the root node. So if we remove this, can we remove the root? I guess so. Oh no, it tells you that it's not the root. Okay, so if this is not the root, if you remove, so then now, because that's that's an edge case, I think, which we can handle, but we just have to know to look for it so we can handle it. And then now, um, yeah, and then now we have to calculate, okay, well, what is the left max, right? Left max is equal to get height, node dot left, right max is equal to get height, node dot right. And then now, if we remove the right node, then now, if we remove the right node, then the max is going to be the left max plus one for the current node, right? So yeah, 
actually, I guess I, I think I'm overcomplicating a little bit. I think from that is good enough for me to go. Um, like, yeah, I think I'm overcomplicating. I mean, I think one thing, the one thing that I didn't miss, but I keep forgetting, is basically the depth, right? So this comes from the, the count from the depth. Um, actually, I don't even need max mother, other. I think I just need a depth. I think now I see a little bit more, uh, I see a little bit more clarity. And basically what I want to do now, instead of having this, I mean, which is fine, this is left height, right height or something. Right? Is that now, okay. Now we have these heights and the current node. Oops. Right, is that um, node dot if node dot left is not none, then now if we remove left node dot left, then what is the right answer? The right answer is the oh sorry, if we remove node dot left, which is the query, if there is a query, then what's the right answer? And then on the right side you just have the height of the right, right? So right height plus the depth, maybe plus one, depending on how you define the depth. But so then that's going to be the no dot left's answer, right? So lookup of no dot left dot right. You figure it is, right? And then same for the other side. A little bit lazy to copy and paste. Though sometimes it bites me, so I don't know if I recommend it. And that's pretty much it. And then now we can calculate uh, no dot left. I guess assuming that it is not none, though it doesn't matter that much, I think. Actually, yeah, I don't think that matters because there's an if statement here anyway. So yeah, no dot left plus one. And that should be it. Now we have to do for Q and queries. Um, we can just look up the lookup, right? And that's pretty much it. I don't have a mouse, so that's why the clicking is also a little bit slow. Oh, I forgot to do the depth. Um, am I? Oh no, this is hmm, this is consistently wrong for some reason. So that's not great. Maybe I'm just off by one. Uh, I'll put two. Oh, I, I I did count. Okay, number of edges. Sometimes some question, some problems ask for the number of nodes in the depth. Some people ask for the number of edges. So we are consistent, but there is still it's not just an off by one way because this is. Uh, um, but yeah, and then now we don't we do not need the plus one here. That's what we're gonna do. But we're still off of Q two, which we will have to re-examine. Um, Q2, or example 2, we remove 3. Oh, yeah, this is the part we, where I did forget. Um, that's why I needed the, the max other, because I forgot about the prefix sum that we did talk about. But then I think I just got a little bit. Because then now, this is this is the answer from, um, <clears throat> from removing this node, we have the other side of the tree, which this is it. But we have to get the max other. Okay, so we still need the max other to kind of propagate down, right? So then we have to do, 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 do. Yeah, so then now, um, so it's either max of this or max other, right? Because this is basically max of other things that this doesn't change. <laughs> I almost had it, but we have to figure out, um, okay, so max other, it is going to be, so we want to go left, then it is going to be max, I think it's just literally like this thing, right? The max other is just this thing, I believe. So it has to be if it's not none, so maybe now we do put it here. Something like that. And here it is just zero for to begin with, I think. Hmm. Well this is way wrong. Um did I add
had some by accident. Oh yeah, this is a I forgot to look up. Okay, so that's good. Um, that's why I had in my diary, but then I I think I just it's late and I got I don't know confused and then I kind of got it. Am I confident about this? To be honest, maybe not. It's a little bit sloppy. It's a little bit quick, and I'm a little bit rushing it honestly. But let's yolo submit. Okay, good. Hmm. Not bad. 1670 day streak. Uh, not so bad. Uh, let's see how did I do last time. Well, last time I, I don't know what I did last time. So let me know what you think about how I did last time. But I think this time I did it cleaner. Um, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. The idea is to break it down to cases, right? And there are really two cases when you remove a node. Um, one is that the max is, like let's say here, the max is if it's on the other, the parent's other child. Um, so that's the max path. Or removing this doesn't change at all. So it's just max for the other parents, which is where the max other came in. Um, yeah, so... You know, this is, as I said, this is amortized, right? So this is going to be all of one for each node. Um, this which is just a regular recursion at this point. So this is also O of one for each node. So this is going to be O of n over all, O of one per node. And of course, this is Q, O of Q, uh, O of one per query. So O of Q in total. So O of n plus Q, which is linear in the size of the input. And that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to also, uh, it's a little late, but I'm skipping both the contests just because, you know, marathon. Um, good luck, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.